is down behind that bush. Yeah, there's a good shot that's second shot, Johnny. Um, that's good composure, John. Where are they? Yeah, I suppose. I really could. Come on, shooting the rifle. It's just gone down. Awesome. Down in there. I think we'll do it, see? Yep, I think so. The other one's still standing there. The fact that this young hind is still standing here after three shots being fired really close to her shows that that DPT Magnum suppressor is really making a difference to the bark of that 3006. Just shot like I'm used to. It's yeah, just a lefty good. of what I'm used to. Yeah, that's no, cool. I quite liked it. Yeah, no, I definitely the suppressor. You have to say that. The 306, that it, I mean, certainly didn't kick and it didn't um, didn't scare that hind when you're looking. So what's the plan, Johnny? Oh, we'll just need to go clean up these two deer that we've just shot with the new Lieutenant Seiko 55. So we did with custom guns. Sheared and hunting knives, um, stag handle knives, um, go down and test them out. So, right, so although this is a meat hunting trip, we're also testing out my new rifle. So it's based on a Seiko 75 action. And you see it's left handed. It's got a 26 inch Hardy's barrel um, and a DPT suppressor. Um, it's just got the factory Seiko stock on it, and um, it's been bedded. This rifle was built by Greg Hudson um, at Custom Guns in Invercargill. Um, I'm really pleased how this rifle shot. Um, during testing, it shot really well. It's a good result. A um, good result to. What bullet is that, John? A 168 grain um, nozzle Acuvon. Not the ideal meat recovery caliber, you'd no. say. No, she's made for smacking big stags over. We've started skinning the side off this young hind um, that we've just shot. Um, just wanted to talk to you guys about my new knife. This is the first time that we've been out using this knife. So this is a custom made knife um, by Sheridan Hunting Knives. Um, and we're really impressed with um, the look of this knife um, made from stag handle. Um, and we're just really liking um, the look of them. Um, so this is the first time out testing them. 
so just I'm very impressed with how sharp it is. I'm really enjoying it. Just got up and it's um, about 7 o'clock at the moment and we've been walking for about half an hour and we come from camp over to where we shot those two deer last night um, we cut one of them up last night and it got dark pretty quick and we had to go back and get the four wheelers so we just left one of them here so we're going up there and cut it up now Right we're back at the scene of last night's hunt now um, so we're sitting up on top of that ridge over there Dad and I both smacked a yearling over um, and we managed to find mine and cut it up um, but we just couldn't find this one in the low light after cutting that one up. Um, but we've walked right past him um, a few times. He was just tucked down in, in down here. And in the low light we just couldn't see him. Um, but it's got a shear and hunting knives now. Um, and you, so you can see the variety of them now. So this is Dad's one um, with the coronet handle. Um, and it's a skinning shaped blade. Um, and mine's got the deck handle. I've got brass on both ends. Um, and this is a boning handle. Um, so we, we were pleased with how mine went last night. So it's amazing, you can see the exit wound there, um, same as the other one, um, put in a very similar place. Um, and it's quite incredible how far they can run um, and get tucked in under a little bush like that and you just can't see them. Um, so it's really worth having a good look for them. Um, but it's great to find them. Um, and we're very really pleased with how this 306 is working. Um, it's nice and accurate. I'm really enjoying using it. So his dad's shared in hunting knife, so it's a skinning blade. He's got a coronet handle. He's a fat little sucker. Be good eating then. The old winter coat makes for Difficult hygiene. You yeah, so e see how easily that knife's doing that. Very sharp. We haven't done any work to them, eh? No. So we'll just take the back stakes again. And this front end isn't so flash again. Back legs. And then a similar walk to last night, only hopefully a bit easier with some daylight. Yep, sounds I'll good. Get these back stakes out. Good to get that wee yearling at that shot. Um, good to get the meat off them. Um, so we're just making our way back up through here, um, through all these guts, and head back to the four wheelers, back at camp. Um, we're going to head up into the snow and get the spotting scope out, do some glassing and things up there. Hopefully pick up an animal a bit further away um, to really test out the 306 because that Acubon bullet it's called a long range Acubon for a reason um, close range that 150 180 meters um, it's just going to go straight through animals like both of those ones did um, looking at the footage they're both absolutely stuffed shot in the shoulder um, there's just no chance of them going very far at all and we just need to really get out a bit further so we can let that bullet expand um, and really smack the air over. So we'll just carry on and head back to the bikes.
sitting in the snow like this, these bushback Polarex down jackets are brilliant. We're really enjoying using them, especially when the wind's coming off those tops over there that are just covered in snow, um, it means the wind's really cold. So these jackets are great. <laughs> 